Welcome to the McDonald's New South Wales Premier Cricket Roundup with Jack Clifton. We start the action with Fairfield Liverpool's crunching six-wicket win over Sutherland. The top order all made starts for Sutherland, where the Jared Burke struck early with the big wickets of Chris Williams and Tom Doyle. Callum Weatherall showed off his ability to strike the ball. In response, Fairford Liverpool weren't wasting any time. Jaden Simmons slashed Tushar Gark for six off the second ball. It was Param Upal and Ravash Ravastava's undefeated partnership that was too strong for the home side. Upal hit 76 from 87, while Shavastava smashed 49 from just 41 deliveries. St George pulled off an absorbing five-wicket win in the final over the game in their clash against Mossman. Trent Copeland took the wicket of Nathan Hinton with the fourth ball of the match. All momentum was with St George. Unfortunately for the Saints, it was short-lived as Peter Forrest and Lachlan Hearn put on a 152-run partnership. Hearn's 112 from 133 with 13 boundaries the standout performance of the day. In response, it was a spread of contributors for St George that led the chase. A 120-run first wicket partnership set the home side up for success. Stapleton made 62 from 70, while Hopkins ably supported with a stylish 57 from 81. UTS North Sydney won a high-scoring affair against high-flying Manly Oringa in their Round 10 clash. UTS North Sydney got off to a fantastic start with James Campbell knocking over Joel Foster very early. Lenton smacked 101 from 121 balls, including seven sixes. UTS had a big chase ahead of them, but with Tom Jaggett in the side, anything is possible. Jaggett made 104 from 117, supported by Aidan Burial's 66 from just 56, and the big hitting of Tim Reynolds, who was unbeaten on 78 of 70 balls, including six sixes. Gordon were handsome winners over Randwick Petersham in their clash. A huge total of 298 was set after some great performances from Tim Crawford and Dylan Hunter. Crawford smacked 68 from 48, while Hunter's red-hot form continued with 90 from only 75 balls, including two glorious sixes. Hunter was just as damaging with the ball as he was with the bat, taking the important wicket of the dangerous Matthew Everett. Adam Semple and Tim Affleck tried their best to salvage Randwick Pejam's score, Semple cracking 57 from 40, including this six, while Affleck hit a stylish 45 from 68. Jackson Saggers was the pick of the bowlers for the visitors, with his great figures of four for 52 from his nine overs. In the round's other fixtures, Sydney Creek Club sent the records tumbling with a mammoth seven for 442 as they destroyed Hawkesbury. Bankstown nine for 218 defeated Northern District. Penrith had a comfortable seven wicket win in the local derby against Parramatta. Sydney Uni made it five wins with a comfortable six wicket win over Blacktown District Cricket Club. The University of New South Wales only had to chase a slender total, but it took them time in their win against Eastern Suburbs, while Western Suburbs had a 31-run win against Campbelltown Camden in another local derby. The table looks like this after five games. Sydney Uni and Sydney Creek Club continue their dominance at the top, both winning four of their five fixtures to sit one and two. Manly lost their first game of the season and are tied with Bankstown and Randwick Petersham, while Fairford Liverpool, Northern District and St George all round out the top eight. Although with Gordon, Penrith, East, Parramatta, North Sydney, University of New South Wales and Western Suburbs all on 13, there's only one point that separates 8th to 15th. Blacktown Mandies and Campbelltown Camden still yet to register a victory in the first grade men's limited overs cup. Thank you for watching the McDonald's New South Wales Premier Cricket Roundup. For full scores and results, visit matchcentre.premier.cricketnewsouthwales.com.au.